Hey guys, welcome to RT Keynotes. It's me Ravi here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform search and replace a particular string using a file. So basically, we'll be doing this task in Word document and other um, applications. So today, let's perform using a file concept. And uh, the package name is uh, mini projects here. My folder name is also mini projects. And I have uh, inputted Ivo, uh, that is input output for performing. Um, basically, we are going to use streams. Here, I have used a character stream. That is, uh, we're going to use reader and writer concepts. So, in the previous videos, uh, we have performed using byte stream, uh, like data input stream and output stream, and all these things. And uh, we have uh, so far, we have performed three mini projects that is, on traffic light uh, simulation. The second one is about uh, brick breaker game. And uh, the third one is about uh, notepad. So, if you have not watched these videos, please do watch all these videos. And th this is the final project which we are going to perform in uh, Java laboratory tutorial. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, the class name is search and replace, and I have got uh, two strings here. One is uh, string A is YouTube, and I'm going to replace this YouTube as like this. That is Y caps and T caps. So this is the text which I'm. This is this text should be replaced as this text. Okay. So over here I have got a main method with uh, exception. Uh, and um, uh, here I'm going to give uh, the original path, uh, I mean I'm going to create a file, text file and within that this text is going to be there and after when I run a program it should replace the text. Fine. So initially I have set everything null, the reader and writer and in try block I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using buffer reader, you know well about buffer reader uh, which is best, buffer reader or scanner. Uh, basically buffer reader performs uh, good uh, when compared to scanner because scanner will do parsing each and every time buffer reader won't do that one it will just simply read the read, read and display the characters fine um, and also buffers uh, reader size is about 8 kb scanner size is about 1 kb uh, okay so here um, so this is uh, it, it is going to read the file uh, file path and um, here i'm going to use a uh, read line I have put that one in a loop so that ba basically a read line in the sense for example if uh, it is reading this particular line in the sense it will read public and if I am using only read in the sense after this space it will think that there is nothing so that it won't read the rest of these characters or string but if I am using read line even after the space you know it will keep continuing uh, to read the whole line so likewise it will continue so here I'm going to repeat this until null fine so that my whole document will be read and once uh, everything got read and it is going to um, you know uh, replace this that is replace all uh, all method I have used which means that I'm going to replace string A to string B fine here it is given and um, so uh, using write operation I'm gonna perform all these things okay it is going to write the string b, b instead of string a then uh, if there is any exception I'm gonna catch those exceptions that's it so this is a simple program and uh, let's create a file uh, here I'm going to create a file here that is let's say that uh, rk keynotes and uh, hi Okay, so this is my text. Uh, I'll put this YouTube over here several times. Okay, that's the first. Let's perform this, and I'm gonna copy this uh, location of the file. That is, let's put over here. Fine, and simply just run the file. Build successful. Let's check the file the changes were not done it seems I'm gonna open this file yes the changes were not done because the file location is not uh, matching with this uh, because after this we, we didn't mention the file name that is rtkeynotes.txt fine so I'm gonna close this file you see this the changes were not done I'm gonna close this 
and let's rerun this application till successful i'm gonna open the file now yes the changes were done you see this fine so hope you understood this uh, so this is the final project uh, in this um, java lab tutorial if you like the video hit the like button uh, try all these application programs which I have uh, taught um, until now. Mm, you can download all these things using my uh, GitHub link. I have provided that link in the description box. Mm, and uh, if you have got any queries or requirements, do let me know in the comment section. Don't hesitate to comment. Your comments will motivate me to do a lot of videos like this. And uh, thank you and thanks for watching the video.